been asked to do some paintings of Plymouth and um, I'm used to painting Newlyn in Cornwall but not so much Plymouth. It's a modern city with uh, a lot of modern, fairly modern buildings uh, and a big harbour with lots and lots of boats, yachts in, with lots of what, what I used to call fiddly detail. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a try and this is the painting I'm doing now um, of the uh, part of the harbour, I think it's Sutton Basin or something like that in Plymouth and uh, it's a, as you can see it's a very complicated scene with all the boats moored and uh, lots of masts of yachts and fishing boats, uh, motor cruisers, all that sort of thing and details of the flags and the landing on the pier um, and I, well I thought I'd have a go at it but uh, the, the only way I can do it is try and keep it as free as possible with the big spaces like the sky and the sea and the water um, paint that fairly freely if I can and then sort of superimpose or work in the detail and that's the difficulty because to try and keep that free is, is not that easy even to put in fine detail like the handrails on the pier and uh, the flagpoles on the fish market and the details of the windows in the museums and hotels and that sort of thing, offices it's, well, I, I didn't want to do it at first, but I've forced myself to do it, and actually I'm quite enjoying it now with the, um, uh, I haven't got many of these masts in yet. It, it, when you think about the size of a mast in the scale of the painting, it's a tiny little line, but it does produce a sort of texture, and it's very difficult to do it freely, and that's what I'm attempting to do. Some of the masts are light against dark, like those there, uh, and some of them are, are dark against light like the railings there and the lamp post here. Lots of little fiddly details, each of which in a way it fits on the land here throws a shadow and that's another thing I've got to think about because at a certain time of the day the, the shadow lines will all be like that at an angle. So I can try to keep the, the angles right for the shadows there and I see I've got that slightly wrong that one. I'll have to change that one. But to get these each detail has a little shadow. The figures I haven't put them all in yet, but the figures have got those shadows too. And this, the sun's over here behind my right shoulder when I did the original drawing and painting. And uh, this finished one, I've got to sort of reflect that. So the little lines in it, which create a rhythm. The vertical masts and the vertical lamp posts and the figures and the diagonal lines of the shadows make a sort of pattern really. And it's very difficult to keep it all together and make it look like one unity of a painting. I don't know if the camera can come around and look at the painting. It might explain more what I'm talking about. So you see the painting there, there's this light pier and the water around it, which I've tried to paint fairly freely. But then you've got the vertical white masts and the dark posts. And as I said just then, each has got a little shadow line. With that running across that way, so there's a series of little sort of rhythms running through it like that. Trying to get the effect of the distance with all this fussy detail is, is the thing I've tried to do in this painting. 